Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. I have a big announcement for you and I have finally launched my website. So if you're interested in new courses, my unpublished YouTube videos and my Discord, if you would like to visit my website, it is the first link in the description. Now let's jump into the video. Let's look at five characteristics of the typical penetration tester or bug bounty hunter. The first characteristic you will see is that typically the penetration tester or bug bounty hunter will have the ability to sit at their computer for a significant amount of time and if you cannot sit and focus for at least an hour or an hour and a half, I would say you're really gonna struggle in this field. There has been research done stating that it takes at least 10 to 15 minutes to re-engage your brain after you take a break. And so really studying for at least an hour at a time is really helpful. And it will also help you to spend a significant amount of time trying to pull off an exploit before you take a break. Within the world of penetration testing and bug bounty hunting, you're gonna have to be able to read really boring documentation which means you're gonna to have to have the ability to just sit in one place and read on your computer screen for a significant amount of time and most bug bounty hunters and penetration testers will spend anywhere from four to eight hours every single day on their computer and number two liking to solve puzzles this one is really important in the world of programming and hacking because as a programmer or an ethical hacker you're gonna to have to be able to sit down figure out how something works and then how you can take it apart and then how you can and fix it and it just seems to be one giant puzzle and you have to really enjoy pulling things apart and figuring out how to bypass what you're not supposed to be able to bypass and I kind of view it as a puzzle so I would say liking to solve really challenging puzzles or brain teasers is also a popular characteristics amongst hackers and number three the world of cybersecurity might not be for you if you like things to be consistent in the world of penetration testing and bug bounty hunting you will almost never come across the same exploit that is pulled off the exact same way and if you do there's often multiple different ways to pull off a single exploit things in this world are not usually consistent programmers are all different they all write code different they all write functions different and this leads to exploits being pulled off in a different way almost every single time and number four if you are easily defeated then the world of cybersecurity probably is not going to be for you usually programmers penetration testers and bug bounty hunters have to be willing to sit down and try to pull off and exploit many different ways before it actually works. And sometimes this can take a significant amount of time. And so you can't be easily frustrated or defeated because it will make you want to quit. And the more you learn, the more challenging the exploits become. And the last one, if you are impatient, you might not make it. So this is the one I struggle with the most. I am a very impatient person, but I also have a different characteristic that overcomes this impatience and that is determination. Even though I'm very impatient and I want things to get done now, I'm willing to just sit down and put in the work until I've achieved a specific goal. I'm very goal oriented. So if you are impatient, then maybe you can have another characteristic that can overcome this specific character flaw. But being patient or having an immense amount of determination to overcome your impatience is something you're going to need. If you think there are any other characteristics that you find helpful for penetration testers and bug bounty hunters, please let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching.